Hello people, welcome back. This question is from GATE 1997 exam. It's for two marks. Also, it is a MSQ type question. They are saying zero has two representations in. Option A is sign magnitude. Let's analyze this one. Zero will actually have two representations in sign magnitude form because suppose we are using three bits for magnitude and one, and one bit for sign. Okay. So if magnitude is zero, number will be zero. Sign can either be positive or negative. That means if you have sign as zero, this is plus zero. And if the sign is one, magnitude is zero, okay. This will be minus zero. Yeah, this is a problem in sign magnitude form that we have two representations for zero and actually zero has a sign plus and minus, okay. So this one has two representations for zero. Similarly, one's complement will also have two representations for zero. Plus zero will be all zeros. Okay. Suppose it's four bit one's complement representation. This is plus zero. Okay. And minus zero will be all ones. How is this one minus zero? First thing is sign bit is one that means the number that it represents is going to be negative okay what is the actual number just take one's complement of this so one's complement will be zero 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 okay so all zeros means zero so this this all ones it actually represents minus zero okay that means answer to this question is sign magnitude form and one's complement okay two's complement does not have any wastage that means each and every combination is assigned to a different number so zero will have only one representation rather every number has unique representation in this only in sign magnitude and one's complement we waste one combination that means zero has two representations okay